Columbia was a fine ship. She was named after Robert Gray's exploration ship, which sailed out of Boston Harbor in the 18th century. Columbia and the other orbiters are all named after great explorer ships, for that is their mission, to explore the unknown. Columbia was hardly a thing of beauty, except to those of us who loved and cared for her. She was often bad mouth for being a little heavy in the rear end. But many of us can relate to that. Many said she was old and past her prime. Still, she had only lived barely a quarter of her design life. In years, she was only 22. Columbia had a great many missions ahead of her. She, along with the crew, had her life snuffed out in her prime. I was here at the shuttle runway in March of 1978 when Columbia first arrived at the Kennedy Space Center. She came in on the back of the 747, escorted by Deke Slayton in the T-38, ready for launch by the loving care of the Kennedy team, the same care they had given to all 28 of her flights. She was finally ready to fly in April of 1981. John Young and I were privileged to take her on that maiden flight. She performed magnificently. The world's greatest electric flying machine which was what John described her as. Because she was a little heavy, she didn't get some of the more glamorous missions, but she was our leader in doing science on orbit. Just as she was doing with this crew in Space Ab on mission STS-107, microgravity scientific exploration was her bag. She carried Space Lab numerous times, studying material processing and life sciences, all of which were focused at giving us a better life here on Earth. Columbia also helped us better understand the heavens and learn about the origins of the universe with several missions, including ASTRO, also by deploying the most advanced X-ray observatory ever built, the Chandra Space Telescope, and by our very recent Hubble Space Telescope servicing mission. Just as our crew has, Columbia has left us quite a legacy. There's heavy grief in our hearts, which will diminish with time, but it will never go away and we will never forget. Hail Rick, Willie, Casey, Mike, Laurel, Dave, and Alan. Hail Columbia. Yeah.